Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the outdoor couple will be exploring Indian Valley Reservoir in Lake County, California. Indian Valley Reservoir is located 27 miles west of Williams near Highway 20. This six mile long lake is home to large and smallmouth bass, crappie, trout, and kokanee salmon. Brenda and I have been told the lake level is very low, so we left our boat at home today and we're taking our kayaks in. Hopefully we can get on the water, so come along. Today's program is sponsored by Dragon Point Gun Dogs in Paso Robles, California. Stay tuned for more information on these exciting pointers from Dragon Point Gun Dogs. Good morning guys, uh, Brenda and I are headed up to Indian Valley Reservoir. We're actually, the lake, I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's right down here. And it looks to be less than half pull. Um, we've been on this gravel road now uh, for at least an hour and a half. Well, we came off Walker Ridge and we went down to the um, uh, Indian Valley campgrounds, which are closed, locked behind lock gates. So we had to turn around and come back. Now we're headed up to the north end of the lake. Um, and see if we can access the water there. We can port our boats in on the wheels, of course, but uh, we have to get within a couple hundred feet of the lake. If we can get on the water today, I think it's gonna be an epic fishing day. So uh, stick with us. My cousin and I, we, we came up here and we were probably just in our early 20s. And uh, so we're talking 40 years ago. And uh, we came up here and the first time we came up, it was like we camped at the campground. There was nothing. There was like no trees. There was nothing. And uh, it was real windy at night, always windy at night. And so there was these two lean-tos that they had made, like really just ward, boards that would block the wind. And so we said to told ourselves, okay, the next time we go, we got to go a day early so we can get a lean-to. Because we come up on Memorial Weekend and be, uh, you know, kind of crowded. But the lean-tos were always taken by somebody. And we wanted to put our tent up behind the lean-to. So we got up here a day early and the lean-tos were already taken. And we went to the store and we're like, do you have guys that have no more lean-tos? I no, we only have two of them. That was, that's what you wanted? I go, that's why we came up here a day early because we wanted to like, get the lean-to. And she goes, well, we rent trailers. And I go, trailers? What kind of trailers? She goes, those mobile homes. They're like single wide mobile homes. There are like 10 of them. He goes, you can rent one of those. We have one of those available. I go, really? How much is it? She goes, it's $20 a day. I go, a day for the trailer? She goes, I go, we didn't, what, do we, what, what do we need? She goes, everything you need is there. All you need is your food and a sleeping bag. Everything else is there. I go, cooking utensils? I go, everything. Oh, we'll take one. So it costs us like 80 bucks for four nights. The trailer was like totally comfortable. We had our own beds, we had a kitchen, a bathroom, a shower. And here we are, we wanted the lean-to, you know. We're all like, we're getting the lean-to. Just morons, man. We didn't know what we were doing. So that then from that point on, then we started renting the trailers every time we came instead of camping underneath the lean-to. Oh my god. Anyway, that's my uh my uh Indian Valley Reservoir story about the lean-to. <laughs> yeah, well, the road is uh, rough on top because it's all rough. You know? We'll get down here a little ways. And it's rough. All right. Well, we've made it to uh, to water. We're at very uh, very north end of this lake. And uh, we got about a four or five mile an hour breeze blowing, but nothing we can't handle the fish. So I think we're gonna put in 
right here and uh, go go play see what see what happens all right the outdoor couple uh, at Indian Valley Reservoir Water visibility was about 12 inches at best, and we could see a lot of carp that were uh, on, on the water, uh, either pre-spawn or spawning. They were flopping around all around us. So we started uh, pad uh, pedaling out to deeper water. Um, when I got to about 9, 10 feet, I noticed on the graph that it was just filled with fish. Now, I don't know what they were. They could have been Sacramento pike. They could have been uh, uh, carp, maybe even crappie. I don't know, but the water clarity hadn't changed in that depth and uh, we made cast after cast. and We fished for a couple hours until the news came. Have you ever seen so many fish? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Highland Spring. Yep. I mean, I don't know what yeah. they're, I think they're all carp. They might be crappie or pike right. or something. I got one bite off the shore over here. Did you get anything? No. I, I must have cast it to a bedded fish and yeah, well, uh, um, my dad's in the ER why I don't know my is when I took off well you you taken off and then Jim actually called me so he actually got through for a moment he's in the ER it was real sporadic I said Jim if you could hear me this is where I am and then I stopped and just went to the bathroom right now and then my voicemail popped up Jennifer took him to the ER like around 9 o'clock. Well, let's go. And, let's um, go back to the truck and get out of here. He said he was really confused. So I don't know if my dad had tried to call me or... When we got the news, we had to go. Brenda's dad was in the hospital and we wanted to make sure he was going to be okay. So we packed everything up and headed out. The good news is, is after we got home, we found out that he was fine. All the tests were, were negative and he was in good, good health. Sometimes when you're out exploring, things don't always go your way. And if you watch this video, you know for a fact it didn't go our way today. But we will be back. This is a great spot. We hope that uh, we can get back on the lake with our kayaks and catch some bass for you. And we're going to try to get that done in the next couple of weeks. Until then, thanks for coming with us. We've enjoyed your company. And uh, I hope that you uh, can subscribe and like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you as members and watching what we do. Thanks for joining us from The Outdoor Couple. We'll see you next time. Before you go, have one more look at the quality of German short hair pointers bred and trained by Mitch and Amber Prouse at Dragon Point Gun Dogs. If you're looking for a hunting companion, a family pet, or a field trial champion, you will not be disappointed in their line of pointers. Go online or give them a call to see when the next available litter is scheduled. You can find Dragon Point's contact information and website location in our description of this video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.